Could this parking lot be the new home of a Gray Street police precinct? If Vince Witt, the owner of Twisters, has his way, it will. Witt, along with a group of Gray Street business owners, is proposing to pay for, build, and keep up a mini precinct. That is, if police will man it. Uh, we've suggested it before and uh, been shot down a couple times on it, but we still, you know, want it put there. We think it'd be, you know, value to the neighborhood, keep down some of the crime, having visual uh, police officers here all the time. The Richmond Police Department says a mini precinct on this spot is a possibility, but right now it is looking at other alternatives. Sources at the Richmond Police Department say it is looking at several alternatives for Gray Street, one of which is increasing the number of officers without charging taxpayers for their services. That probably means store owners will have to foot the bill, and the prospect of paying more has wit at the end of his wits. These young kids are coming down here underage. Uh, they'd have the eye on they get to know them, they would. And uh, if the police would execute the rights and move them off the street under 17 years old. The police department says it is enforcing the laws the best it can. In fact, police say Gray Street probably receives better protection than other parts of the city. But it is city manager Robert Bob who is proposing to cut off alcohol sales to certain bars at 11 o'clock, which says if that proposal passes, he will go out of business. And it will probably be up to the Alcohol Board of Control to help put Bob's policy into action. But as of yet, the ABC says it has not received any information from the city. In Richmond, I'm Jay Ariano, WTVR News 6.